house or condo? How do you decide? I mean, the decision to move to Naples is a big enough decision, but now you have to decide what housing style you prefer. The real question is what makes more sense for you and your lifestyle down here in Florida? Look, I've been in your shoes. When my husband and I sold our first house here in Naples, we were thinking, should we stick with a single family home again or should we go condo? I mean, it's just the two of us. We don't really need a lot of space. In the end, we ended up going single family home. But before we moved into that single family home, we had the opportunity to live in a mid-rise condo in a bundled golf community for a short period of time and ultimately realized that condo living wasn't for us just yet. What did we like about condo living? We loved the fact that this particular unit wasn't on the ground floor, so we loved the view. We also loved the ease of knowing that we were only responsible for everything from the drywall in. We loved the ease of having the elevator. And we also liked the fact that this particular unit was on the top floor of the building, so we didn't hear people walking around upstairs. What didn't we like about it? We didn't like parking in our carport, lugging our groceries to the elevator, and getting everything upstairs. We didn't like hearing our neighbor's TV through our open sliders. And we didn't like being limited on where we could keep things like tools, bicycles, beach stuff. At some point in our lives, I'm sure condo living is going to be perfect for us, especially when we get sick and tired of the maintenance of the single family home. So here's what you should be thinking about when you're deciding between condo and single family here in Naples, Florida. If I haven't said so, I'm Alicia Shivers. I'm a full-time resident here in Naples and a full-time realtor. And if you want to make a life here in Naples and find out where the best places to live are, then click the subscribe button and you'll be the first to know about what's happening here in the Naples market. First, it's generally thought that a condo is less expensive than a single family home. And in most cases, that is true. You can still find a well cared for two bedroom, two bath condo in Naples for under 500,000. But you also have to consider the condo fees as part of your overall budget. Generally, condo fees are going to be higher because you're paying for exterior building insurance. You're paying for roof replacement and painting of the exterior of the building, which is generally on a schedule every so many years. And in some cases, your condo fee could include things like water and sewer usage. It could include basic cable and internet access. It is also commonly thought that a condo is easier to take care of than a single family home. And in some respects, that is also true. Typically with a condo, you'll find that lawn, landscape care, and mulching and trimming are all included as part of your condo fee. Irrigation water, usually pest control in the ex exterior is included. And like I mentioned before, roof replacement and painting of the exterior of the buildings are usually included as part of the reserves for any condo community. One word of caution though on that reserve account for any condo community. Sometimes they don't have enough in reserves for roof replacement or paving of the roads or painting of the exterior of the building. If a hurricane hits, there's any kind of storm damage, that could deplete the reserves until possibly an insurance claim is paid. Or sometimes they'll have to levy an assessment to all of the residents in order to cover any unexpected cost. I know you're thinking this is a lot to think about and you may be feeling a little overwhelmed right now, but don't worry, in the state of Florida, when you purchase a condo, you have a three-day right of rescission period. And during that three-day period, you have the ability to review all the condo docs, current budget, all the financials, and decide whether or not this condo is right for you. So how do single family homes compare? Well, don't count out single family homes just yet. You may be pleasantly surprised to learn that there's a few communities in and around Naples that do include the landscape and lawn care and mulching and sometimes even the trimming as part of their HOA fee. And sometimes some of those communities even include basic cable and internet access as part of the HOA fee. But typically everything else is the responsibility of the homeowner. Another thing to think about when deciding between condo and single family home are the rules of the community. Generally speaking, condos are gonna be more restrictive on their rules because you're sharing walls and floors with neighbors. There's likely going to be a pet policy in place. There may also be a policy in place as for what type of vehicle or how big of a vehicle you can park 
at your condo. There may even be a policy in place for how often you need to change out things like your air conditioning or your water heater or even your appliances because condo associations know that those are the big trigger points that cause the most headache. And there's likely to be a policy in place for how often you can rent your condo. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that there aren't rules for single family homes. There certainly are, especially if you live within an HOA community. But where a single family home is concerned, you have the ability to search for a home that's not within an HOA. However, don't think that you're not subject to any rules and restrictions. In that case, you are subject to the municipality's restrictions. Look, depending on what stage of life you're in, will depend heavily on what style of home you choose. Single family homes tend to require more care and maintenance both inside and out, while condos tend to give you that lock up and go lifestyle. But I also know from my own experience that single family homes have their own attraction. Basically not sharing walls with any neighbors, knowing that it's your own space and you can do as you see fit within the home. One other thing to think about when you're deciding between housing styles here in Naples is how often you're going to use it, whether you're going to be part-time or full-time. And look, if you're going to make a life here in Naples, whether part-time or full-time, you need to be prepared that family and friends are going to want to visit you. As soon as they find out that you have a home in Naples, they're coming. And the question for you is, where will they stay? Will you have room in your condo? Are you thinking single-family home in anticipation of having guests? Remember, we are a tourist destination, so we do have hotels, we do have VRBOs, we do have Airbnbs. So don't let the idea of the grandkids coming to visit sway you in your decision between single family home and condo. It should be what suits your lifestyle best. If this information was helpful and you want to start your search trying to decide between single family home and condo living here in Naples, please reach out to me. All of my contact information is below. I'd be happy to start your exploration phase and try to decide where in Naples might be best for you.